Hi everyone, welcome back. Today is my everyday makeup drawer for the month of April. I can't believe we're in April already. It's kind of crazy. I love these videos so much. If you've never seen them before, I take you with me through my makeup collection and pick out some new products to keep in my everyday makeup drawer for the month. And then at the end, we use the products and do a get ready with me together. If you're new here, my name is Blair. I do all kinds of beauty content here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I hope you'll subscribe if you have not already, and let's get started. We'll start by reviewing what I've had in the drawer for the past month, and then we'll pick out some new products and do our makeup together. All right, it's time to pick some new products. These are the products I've had in for the month of March and I like to just kind of go over thoughts on things that maybe surprise me, things that I used the most this month. So of course I kind of already knew this but this blush in Not Too Much from Patrick Ta. This is definitely like my new go-to blush. I've used it so much already. Literally the perfect neutral color. I also have the pink one out this month, just enough, and a lot of days I've been mixing the two, but I also wear just enough a lot on its own. Also, something that I've really been liking that I feel like I kind of neglect is the Patrick Ta bronzer looks like this. So this is the shade She's Bronzed. This is one of the newer shades he came out with, I don't know, probably a year ago or so. It's a really nice formula. It's pretty much the same as the blushes are very, very similar. So I've been loving that. And probably the most just surprising thing this month is I have really been enjoying this concealer. From Tower 28 and it's surprising because I kind of have said that I didn't love this. It was really creasy on me but what I've been doing with this is really using it all over my face and I love it for that. And then under my eyes I've been mixing it with the Cali Ray corrector and that works really really well. I just feel like I use less of the concealer when I mix it with this and I don't have as much of an issue with the creasing. So that is actually something I'm really surprised about, but I'm really liking it. Um, let's see, I've also really been testing this from Danessa Myricks, and I've been liking it. I had this in this month because this shade is typically a little bit dark for me, but right now I have self-tan on, and it's a really good match. I really, really like this. It wears well, but it is extremely glowy, extremely glowy. So you have to kind of want that, but it is nice. I've been liking it. It's a good match for me at the moment. Something else that I have really liked this month is this powder from Hourglass. This is the Veil Translucent Powder. I'm like one of the last people I feel to really love this, but I have been using and loving this so much this month. It's a really good powder that sets your makeup without taking away all the glow from your face, which I really love. Um, still really loving the e.l.f. mascara. That's still kind of been my go-to. And those are really the things that impressed me the most this month. So as always, we're gonna go ahead and put everything back and then we will go over there and pick out some new makeup.
Okay, let's pick out some new makeup. We'll start with primers right here. Last time I had in several primers, so I'm probably gonna choose maybe not as many this time because I didn't end up using all the ones that I picked before. I kinda wanna put this in the Victoria Beckham, but I also might do Sun Glow from Say because um, with my self tan right now, I can use this underneath a foundation or if I use concealer as foundation, I can use this first. So I think I might actually do that. I think I might put this in also. This is the Underglow Primer from Iconic London. This is one of my favorites because it gives some glow, but it also does have like a smoothing quality to it. So I think I might do those two for primer. Let's choose foundations, skin tints. I am gonna probably gonna have to choose ones that are usually a little bit deep for me just because of my self tan right now. So first I'm thinking I'm gonna do this. This is the Kogendo Moisture Foundation. This is very, very expensive. This is actually almost gone too, so I could probably use it up. But this is always a little bit deep for me, but I think it should be okay right now. This one is okay. It's I've never like fallen madly in love with it, but I definitely want to use it up because it was very expensive. So I'm going to put that in. I'm going to do the Makeup by Mario foundation. I need to shake mine up. This is the shade 5N, and again, this is usually a little bit on the dark side, but right now I think this should be okay. This is more coverage than the Kogan Joe, so I think we'll go with that. And then maybe I'll choose one more. I've been trying to stick with three things each month so that I can really use everything that I'm picking. Okay, I think actually we're going to do the Patrick Ta Foundation, the cream foundation, which I love. And for my self-tan, this is a good shade match for me. This is light number three. All right, so I think that should be it for foundation and skin tints. For correctors, which are here, I think I'm going to do my Huda Beauty in Pink Pomelo. This one works for me anytime I can make it work, but right now in particular because it's a little bit dark for me. Cherry Blossom is, or it works better when I'm more fair. So I think we will go with the Huda Beauty. And let's see, I might do one more. Or you know what? Never mind. I changed my mind. I'm gonna use, I think I'm actually gonna put the Huda back. I'm gonna put these in the Natasha Denona corrector and the Rare Beauty eye brightener because uh, my friend Martina Lilly, I'm sure all of you know her, but she uses these two together. Like she mixes these two products and I've never done that for corrector. So I think I am gonna test that out this month and pick those two. For concealer, I might put in my Glossier concealer. This is the stretch concealer. This. It's probably going to be a little light for me right now with my self tan. It might be okay though. So I haven't used that in a while. So I think we will put that in. And I think I'm going to do this Urban Decay Quickie Concealer because I have not used this lately. And I actually, I like this. I don't know why I don't pull it out more often. So I'm going to do that. And then maybe one more. I think we'll do this one since it's newer to me. This is the Laura Mercier Real Flawless Concealer. This is my newest one that I have and I don't I feel like I don't really know exactly how I feel about this. So I think we'll do that. And that should be everything for this drawer. Let's pick powder first. So we have powders over on this side. I have this Bare Minerals foundation in medium beige, which is normally dark for me, but I think right now I might be able to use this. 
I have not used this in forever, so I think I might try it out and put it in. And then for just a regular powder, let's see. Honestly, might put my House Labs powder in because this is this is a classic. I just absolutely love this one. So maybe we'll do this for like a translucent powder option. I'm gonna put this back in actually. This is really new to me and I wanna use this more, the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Powder in Neutral. It's um, a little bit more of a glowy powder. It's not super mattifying powder, but I want to get some more use out of that. So we'll put that in as well. And I think that'll be it for powders. Then over here we have highlighter. And let's see, honestly, I kind of want to put this in the Westman Atelier in Potapesh. This is such a pretty bronzy highlighter, especially for this time of year when I have more color to my skin. I love this. I can even, with my skin tone, get away with wearing just this as like a blush, bronzer, and highlighter. We're going to do that this time for a highlight. Oh, okay, I know. One thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do Westman Atelier Cream Bronzer in Truffle. This is a deeper shade than Biscuit, which is what I normally use, but uh, for right now, this should work for my skin a little bit better. So I think we will do Truffle. I think maybe we'll do this one, the House Labs Bronzer. Have not um use this lately but this is a really nice powder bronzer formula so i think we'll go with that i think that's actually good for bronzer i'm trying to pick few things for each category just to make sure i'm really using everything that i'm choosing so i think that is good okay for blush always the hardest to choose. Okay, I think I'm gonna do this powder. I think I'm gonna do two powders and two creams or liquids this time. I'm gonna do this Sephora Collection blush in Self Made. I got this a few months ago. These are this is one of the newer blushes from Sephora. I think they redid the formula recently. And this is just a really nice neutral color. It's matte. Um, I think it, it's a good one, like good everyday color. So I think I will do that. All right, I'm going to do this one also. Well, I guess this is a similar color, though, to the Sephora one. I want to use this more because this is pretty new to me. I haven't had this for very long, the RMS blush in Crystal Slipper. Yeah, I want to do that. So maybe we'll put the Sephora one back. I don't want to choose two powders that are too similar to each other. Ooh, maybe we should do this. This I rediscovered on my live a few days ago with Martina. We were live talking about um, Sephora recommendations and someone requested that I swatch this Too Faced blush in Velvet Crush and I totally forgot how pretty this color is. It makes me kind of want to use it again. So I think we'll do that for the second powder. And then, okay, for creams, I kind of want to do one of my Mario blushes, maybe. Maybe we'll do the Peachy Mario blush. What is this? The Just Peachy is the name of it. It looks like this, his blush veils, which I love. We'll do that. Maybe I'll do, I don't know, maybe I'll do a pink one and the coral one. Also have, this is probably my favorite one, honestly, perfect pink. I think we'll do perfect pink also. And then I kind of want to choose one more. Maybe we'll do a Rare Beauty liquid blush. I haven't used my liquids in a little while. 
maybe we'll do this one. This is a really pretty bright pink. It's uh, Grace from Rare Beauty. Very pigmented, but really pretty color. I haven't used that in a long time. So I think we'll do that. And that should be everything for blush. Mascara, brows, and single shadows. All right, I'm gonna do this single shadow from Charlotte Tilbury. It's a warmer brown with a lot of radiance and glow to it. This is Exagger Eyes. It's a pretty one I haven't used lately, so I think we'll do that. I think we'll do Taupe from Bobbi Brown. This is one of the shadow sticks. I used this in one of my recent videos. It's a really pretty slight, I was going to say it's cool toned. It's not really, I guess. It's pretty neutral. Very pigmented though, but it's a good one and done. It was in my one and done eyeshadow video if you saw that. So I think I will do that. Maybe we'll do this one too. This is one of the dual ended Bobbi Browns that has cashew, which is a warm brown, and then pink copper on the other side. Maybe we should put a MAC single shadow in. This is all that glitters. I think I'll do that too. And I think that is it for single shadows. Let's see. For liner, I'm going to put this Patrick Ta liner in. It's in copper gold. It's a really pretty, just warmer, kind of like a red toned gold kind of. It's pretty though. I think we'll do that. And then maybe, maybe we'll do... Uh, Makeup by Mario in Perfect Brown for like waterline. And I think that's it for eyeliner, for mascara. I guess we'll do Lash Clash. I just opened a new one of these. And then I think I'll do my Lash and Roll from e.l.f. And then I'm gonna put this Ilia Limitless Lash back in. Cause I didn't, that's the one I used the least last month. So I'm gonna put it back in this month. And let's see, for brows, I kinda wanna put my NYX brow pencil back in. The Micro Brow. This has always been my favorite brow pencil. I had the Rare Beauty one in last month, and I like that one, but this one is just my favorite, so I think we'll do that. I'm gonna take a little break from the brow powder <laughs> since I've been using that pretty much every day. I'll do my NYX brow gel also. And then I need an eye primer too. I think I'm gonna put this back in because I love this, the Sigma eyeshadow base. It's a good base. I'm gonna take this out too. I wanna use this up, this little Paula's Choice Youth Extending SPF. I'm gonna pull that out and maybe this. To this first aid beauty brighten and glow eye cream I think we'll do that and that should be it for here next for the lips all right first thing I know I'm gonna pull out here is a different lip mask I've been using the Sigma one I really like it but I want to switch it out for this one this is the Patrick Ta lip mask actually and I really like this one Oops. So I'm gonna pull that out. And I do this, this Persona Day Mask in pomegranate. It's like a deep wine color. It looks really scary, but it's not when you put it on the lips. I think it's a pretty color though. So I think we'll do that. I think I might do this Ravi Beauty in Dahlia, one of the effortless lips. I might actually do two of those. The one that's a little bit brighter in Tulip that looks like this. I think I might put both of those in this time. I think I'm going to do this in Beauty Project in Mystery Glaze. It's just a really nice pink lip oil. Let's do one of my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. I kind of want to do Very Victoria. I do love that color. Let's do that. Okay, I think we'll do this YSL Candy Glaze in the shade 15. It's the really pretty nude. 
I like that one. For lip liners, I've been choosing three and that has been working well. So I'm gonna choose three again. I think we'll do Natasha Denona in 2.5 Lion. This is kind of a deeper brownie nude. I think we'll do that. Then maybe this Urban Decay in Liar. This is just a rosier pink color. Maybe we'll do this one from Mario. This is the shade Tan. Yeah, that's a pretty color. I might use that color from him lately. I think we'll do that and that is everything for lips. And finally, for palettes. Should we do for palette? I'm probably just gonna pick one, honestly, because I haven't been even using eyeshadow every day. Or, okay, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the new Mario, the neutrals palette. I wanna use this more, and this is just a perfect everyday palette. So, that was easy. We'll do that, and that should be everything. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'll get all of our stuff together and we'll organize it back in the drawer. concealer and my corrector up here, blushes, bronzers, and that Westman highlighter right there, foundations, uh, this Say Primer, the Iconic London Primer, Rare Blush, Westman Atelier Bronzer, my eye products here, brows are here, lips, powders, and lip liners and mascaras are here sunscreen and then I have my eye creams and my lip mask right there. So as always we will use some of these products and do our makeup together. All right let's do some makeup but before we do that I am gonna do a little bit of skin prep so I'm gonna start with this brighten and glow eye cream from First Aid Beauty. I got this a while ago and I want to say the times that I've used this, I had a little bit of trouble with pilling under my eyes, so I'm going to try this out again. I think this is a reformulated version of this eye cream. It used to come in a little pot, I want to say, so this is the newer version. So we're going to try it out today and hopefully it does not pill under my eyes. It is a nice, like, peachy color. It's a really nice texture. Feels good under your eyes. It's not like super thick, but you can see it definitely gives like a glow under your eyes, which I definitely need. <laughs> if you have dark circles, a glow under the eyes is always helpful. And for SPF, I'm going to use this one. This is my favorite. It's the Madagascar Centella from Skin 1004. I just opened a new one of these. This is my absolute favorite. Perfect 
her under makeup. It doesn't leave a white cast. It doesn't pill. It's affordable. I love it. And then while I'm waiting on that to set down, I'm going to use the Patrick Ta lip mask. I never hear anyone talk about this, and this is actually one of my favorite lip masks. It's really moisturizing on the lips, but it also has just like the slightest peppermint smell, kind of a vanilla-y peppermint. It's really nice. All right, I think I wanna use this today, the Kojundo Moisture Foundation. This is the shade 113, and I haven't used this in a while, but from what I remember, it's usually a little bit dark, but right now it should be a good match, I think. This was, I don't even remember how much it was, but it's a very expensive foundation and I never really like fell in love with it. I'm using the 106 from BK Beauty to apply. Yeah, this should be a good match for me right now. And honestly, maybe that's why I haven't fallen in love with this in the past is because of the shade. Sometimes I do find if I have a really off shade in a foundation, I usually end up not liking it. Even if I had the correct shade, I would like it. I wonder if that's the case with this one because like right now this looks like a good match because obviously my face is lighter than the rest of my body because I don't self tan my face. For corrector, I'm gonna mix these two that I talked about earlier, the Natasha Denona High Glam in the shade C1. And I put that right in the inner corner where I have the most darkness. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of the Rare Beauty next to it. And this is the shade Light Medium. Never tried these two together before, but uh, Martina, like I was saying earlier, said that she likes to mix these two and it's a good combo, so I figured we would try it since I have both products. Yeah, those two do actually look really good together. I have never tried it. Martina is the queen of mixing things, so I always get really good suggestions from her. I will link her channel in the description box. If you've never seen her channel, definitely go follow her, go watch her videos. You will like her. I'm gonna use this concealer from Urban Decay. This is the Quickie in the shade 30 and in. I'm gonna add a little bit where I want a little more coverage and just gonna use the 106 to blend that out on my face. Actually, now I'm remembering with this concealer from Urban Decay, I kind of forgot you have to blend it quickly. It does start to set down pretty quick. This is a nice concealer though. I really need to pull it out and use it more. For some cream bronzer, I'm gonna use the truffle color from Weston Atelier, which looks like this. I like to apply mine on the back of my hand, and I'm going to use the 109 from BK Beauty and just kind of work it into the brush like this. So it's basically already blended on my brush, and just tap it on, and it, it literally just applies itself. It's so easy. I love this formula from Weston Atelier. Also love Biscuit and I could use Biscuit too. That one is a little bit more neutral to cool toned but right now with my self tan truffle works fine. Get a little bit more for the other side. This is a great brush 
for cream bronzer. It's the perfect size. It's angled. Oops. It's angled so it fits directly flush to your skin and it's just a perfect cheek brush. All right, I am going to set my face because I think I'm going to use a powder blush today. So I'm going to use my House Labs Translucent Powder. This is a great powder if you've never tried it. I think it comes in like four or five shades, but this is um, just the translucent one. But it's great. Sets your makeup. Kind of reminds me, honestly, of the Hourglass Veil Powder. This one is a little bit more blurring than the Hourglass. Also, the eye cream did not pill today, so that's good to know. I'm gonna take a little bit of the House Labs powder and set my concealer also, but I'm switching to the N14 from BK Beauty and Nikki LaRose. This has been my go-to brush for setting my under eyes lately. It's perfect size. Okay, for my blush, I think I'm gonna use this Too Faced blush in Velvet Crush. This is the Cloud Crush Blurring Blush. And I was saying earlier, someone asked me to swatch this the other day when I was on the live with Martina and when I did I was like oh my gosh like that is such a pretty blush color and I'm using the Smashbox buildable cheek brush to apply this look at that color yeah I need to use this more this is a really nice matte blush formula if you really like something kind of smoothing and blurring this formula from Too Faced is really nice. All right since um, we've used powders or we used a powder blush I am going to take a little bit of this highlight from Westman Atelier because it's just it's just so pretty and I feel like I could use a little bit of it. So I'm gonna take a sponge. Do you see this? I'm telling you this, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. This is the best highlighter. I don't care. It's expensive, I know, but I just think it's worth it. Okay, I am gonna fill in my brows with my NYX brow pencil and this one is the shade cool ash brown oh and actually I'm like almost out of this I just realized so there's ash brown and then there's cool ash brown I used to use ash brown but then they came out with the cooler tone and that works really well for my brows All right, for eyes, I'm gonna start with the Bobbi Brown eyeshadow stick in the shade Taupe. And I'm gonna use this just kind of as an eye base. And I don't apply a ton of this color because on my skin tone, as you'll see, a little bit goes a very long way. So you really don't need a lot if you're wanting something natural, like do you see that? So easy, honestly, that's kind of perfect. I was gonna add a little bit of this on top. I don't know though, I'm kind of liking taupe by itself. I'm gonna take what's left on my brush under my eyes. This is the BK Beauty 206 brush kind of a larger shader brush but it's kind of fluffy on the end so you can do a lot with it it's similar to like the MAC 
to 17. I am going to go into the Mario palette and I'm going to mix these two shades here. Just kind of tap in and just kind of set that Bobbi Brown in place. And then I'm going to take this brown right here. It's kind of a cooler, medium toned brown. And I'm going to use this kind of as like a really light, smoky liner. So I'm just lightly kind of building that up just a little bit. It's kind of on the outer corner. And then just taking my larger blending brush and just kind of going over everything. I'm going to use a little bit of the Mario liner in my waterline in the perfect brown just to make my lash line look a little bit fuller, thicker. Okay, I want to keep the mascara on the natural side, so I'm going to use e.l.f. Lash and Roll in the brown color because this just adds some length and separation and the brown is just really soft for every day. For the lips, I'm going to line with Mario in the shade Tan. This color is really nice. It's like a warmer, kind of medium toned brown. And on top, I'm going to use the Candy Glaze from YSL in the shade 15. So pretty. Okay, and then before we finish up, I'm going to spray my face with my Charlotte Setting Spray. That is everything for this month's everyday makeup drawer. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me, picking out some new makeup, and then doing our makeup with some of the products. I look forward to these every single month. I just never get tired of it. I never get tired of having a new group of products to really focus on and figure out exactly how I like them or if I don't like them, how I like to pair them together. It's just really fun and a really great way to switch things up. I encourage you to do this with your own makeup collection. Even if you have just a very small collection or maybe you have a large collection like me, it's fun to switch things up and just, I don't know, makes doing your makeup interesting and exciting. So I hope you enjoyed. I will have all the products listed and linked for you in the description box as well as in the YouTube shopping feature up on the screen. Thank you so much if you do choose to use my links. It just goes back into supporting me and my channel. So thank you so much if you do choose to do that. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe and make sure you're following me over on Instagram at simply.blair and I'm also on TikTok at simply.blair1. And that is everything. I will see you next time for another video. Remember, simply be you.